everybody, Pam Meyer with Design Works Limited, and I'm here today with Delia Bradford of Bradford uh, Studios in downtown Carmel, and she's one of my favorite artists, and so I wanted to give you guys a look at what she does, and she's going to tell us all kinds of uh, things about art that you may never have known before. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the difference between G-clays and originals. And she does both. In fact, she does one other step that most artists don't do, in my mind, is she does enhanced G-clays. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, so I do original paintings. This is an original painting here. And original painting is starting from a blank canvas and I create it and design it and I do layers and layers of color to get to where I want to go. I do a lot of plein air work, I go on location and paint uh, and this size painting here I would do in my studio and I would um, work from my photographs that I take and I have a monitor um, by my easel that I, an iPad actually, that I use for the uh, reference. A jacle is a photographic copy of the original. I do mine on uh, canvas because I love the frameless style, or it can be framed, uh, gallery wrapped. And then, as Pam was talking about, I take it a step further and I hand paint back into it. Yeah. And what I love about that is that what, I, I use Delia's paintings a lot in my work, and she'll come in and enhance the piece to kind of ramp up what the interiors that I've created already are saying. So so if I need more blue or I need more teal or whatever the color is, she will come in and boost that a little bit for me so that it it ends up being almost an original, yes. at least in my mind. Yes. <laughs> so now that we've told you a little bit about the difference between a G clay and an original, I wanted to show you exactly what we're talking about. This happens to be one of Delia's beautiful originals. And as you can see, She's just, you know, globbed all this. I don't glob it. Probably that's the right that's word. Okay. <laughs> well, I, mean, I, I do heavily <laughs> hand and put on a Yeah, and I personally love the globs. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you can explain a little bit about, you know, what you do to get to this point. Right. Um, so what do I do is I, um, I start out very thin, and then I lay in the design of it with a big brush. I use like a big house brush. And uh, once I get the composition in, um, and then I'll start either using a uh, palette knife or I'll use a uh, big brush and we're loading up with heavy body acrylic paint. I was originally an oil painter but I love my acrylics because it dries and it's beautiful, brilliant color so I do layers and layers of paint. So when, typically, when, typically when I do original I work about two hours a day on it. I'll do a layer um, each day and I keep on building. So I don't do a one painting in one session, I just do layers and layers and layers and layers. Um, this, this original here uh, was a kind of a takeoff of this one. Um, I had, this was a commission piece I did for somebody. And we're gonna, we're gonna show you in a little bit how she can enhance this so that if it's not just a, a photograph, it's actually got some wonderful paints on it as well. So right now it's very smooth, it doesn't have any texture, and um, I'll show you how this will come alive with the extra paint on it. So now we're going to take this G clay, and she's going to show you how she enhances it. See how flat it is right there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, this is my real paint uh, from what I do my originals with, and I will generously put and individually kind of just give it pop of color, you know, and I just, it just gives it more life, energy, the brush strokes, because the print can be very flat. Well, and like it says here, you're a California Impressionalist, so are flowers and, and like the Mission, I know you do a lot of the Mission and a lot of the ocean and mm -hmm. Big Sur and ocean scenes, are those your three favorite things? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, wherever I go, I'm inspired. Yeah. I go to New York, I paint Times Square, uh -huh. um, but I generally love the light and color, um, so whatever there's color and light, I, I'm there to paint. So, But I live here in Carmel, and I'm just, it just, it's endless things here with the, yes. the cypress trees, and uh, and this is a local flower market, so you know, when I go to the farmer's market, yeah, they have all these pots of flowers, on, you know, they are just, it's just endless. Um, on the inspiration. 
So the Impressionist is just, I simplify things, I just make the impression of it and try to capture the feeling and the energy that I see without doing a lot of details. So, and how do you know when to stop at, at you know, each day to let it dry? Do you have to like... Um, when I, I get tired, uh, mentally on a piece. I mean, and then I, when I know that I'm losing my freshness of my eye and, uh -huh. the, and the excitement, as you see, I'm going, I'm excited about painting this because I'm, you yeah. know, I will, I will come down from that excitement and it's time for me to let it go. And then I get something else up on my easel. I'll work on like three or four different things a day. Uh -huh. And then I'll be excited about that. And then I'll go into that and then, and then I'll put it to dry. And so I'm like, when I come back tomorrow, I'll be ready to go again. So, That's yeah. Cool. yeah. And then when I'm done is when I, uh, um, Leonardo da Vinci has the best quote, is uh, when you're done uh, is when you abandon it. So oh. when I say it's done, I, I'm, I, I can do no more, I feel. I abandon it and it's done. I want to thank Delia Bradford for enlightening us on her talent and all the different ways that we can have original art or G. Clay art or even enhanced G. Clay. And Delia and I have a wonderful relationship that helps me help my clients because she can take a piece that um, and enhance it so that it's just perfect for, for my clients and their interiors. So it's wonderful to have that relationship with artists in town. And I encourage you all to come down to her studio and uh, take a look at all her beautiful paintings because they are gorgeous. I'm going to have one in my house one day. <laughs> Thank you.